Cool sir. What is it that you need? Human remains. Oh. Fresh. No, 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 that's great for me! Hang on, Rash. Uh, excuse me, sir, but we are Christians here. We don't steal the dead from their grave. But the dead are dead, they're not. I don't subscribe to the view that it's unethical to use them for medical research. You, this is not like... Shut up, bro. As the man said, they're dead. They're not coming back, right? We need the money, we're starving. Do you want to starve? No, no, but... Exactly, so pipe down before you ruin this for us. What exactly is it you're after, sir? Female money. <laughs> you heard from any, any that died recently? Aye. Not your kid? No. Not disease? No, drowned. Good looking too. She's beautiful. Aye, very beautiful. She needs to be beautiful. Oh, she was. Rab liked her. No, I didn't! Want you did! I liked her sister! No. You're a strange taste, Rab. That's all I can say. I found her terribly plump. Depends on what you define as plump. I like a little meat on my ladies. I'm happy. <laughs> what lady? Mrs. Peachin, sir. On Peacher? You own this business, friends of the poor. I was recommended to you. Really? Or what do you want? Come on, son, I ain't got a frigging day! You see, it's like this, <laughs> Mr. Peacher. You see, I've been very unfortunate ever since I was a small boy. Christ, here we go. Life's been <laughs> cool. Her mother was a drunkard, lift off the gin, her father was a gambler. Both very handy with their fists. I was left to fend for myself. I've never known the blessing of a happy home without the love of a mother or the support of a father. I sank deeper and deeper into the quicksand of the big city. I was bred from all support. I prayed on my back to instinct. The darkness of life is trapped upon me. Yes! No turn yet. You have ticket number 1621. I'll stick your ticket where the sun doesn't shine. I don't need a ticket. I am his wife. Yeah, you and half of Birmingham. Be very careful what you say. Unless you're to spread your nose across your face. Get out, you idiot. I really don't need the stress. It's not good for my nerves. <laughs> Holly. Yeah, and he's taking me on a mountain trip because he loves me so much. And... Yeah, that's like my week or whatever. Seth, darling, well, you can't make your mind job a little difficult. Um, is there anything a wrong bug with you that we could perhaps discuss? <coughs> seeing how much your father's paying me, it could be anything, anything. Oh my gosh, Doctor, you're so nice. Like, I was just about to say the new cost. Basically, the new girl is a part time. Okay, shit. that's more than enough. <laughs> what I need to accomplish with these sessions is to create a safe and vital place for you to talk about your issues. Last session, that was also my goal. However, it seems this new regard is more important than your ability to take these sessions seriously and me. Oh, come on. Oh, calm down. It's maybe not as bad as it sounds. Do you mean? <laughs> Thank God the weighs 150 pounds. What? And let's say there are 10,000 hairs on the front of head. Well, I mean, it's probably more, but for now, let's say 10,000. Oh. <coughs> That's less than a quarter of an ounce per day. Why did you love that? I want to buy one mechanics that. See, it's not so bad. <laughs> it is, it's like a fairy tale gone wrong. Whenever I think about poor little baby princess, it's no good, I'm gonna have one of my times, boys. Go on! Yes, boys! I'm going! I'm going! Yeah! Oh, that's better. I knew they needed something for the dance, but there are limits! So, this is it, Mandon the World. Oh, oh look! Here comes Johnny and Janie! Well, this is strange. You appear to have all your clothes intact. Well, we lost Arthur's swim tonight. Ah, uh, well, you know, we got picked up by some friendly fishermen. Yeah, and I promised when the next in town they'll stop by our club. Well, this is still warm. Absolutely. They should dry off in a bit. Where's Johnny and Jane gone?